Hi, welcome to Zona Mechanica. There is an MCQ on disc clutch or plate clutch. Figure at the margin indicates the weightage of the question that is 2 marks. A uh, disc clutch is required to transmit 5 kilowatt at 2000 rpm. The disc has a friction lining with coefficient of friction equal to 0 0.25. Bore radius of friction lining is equal to 25 mm. Assume uniform contact pressure of 1 ampere. The value of outside radius of the friction lining is there are four options given. Well, let me draw the figure schematically. Let this is the disc, okay, and these two are the friction surfaces or friction liners, okay, and this is the frictional contact area, okay. Let the outer radius of the friction liners be R1 and inner radius or bore radius be R2 ok then what are the data given the clutch is to transmit 5 kilowatt so the load let W be the load 5 kilowatt ok that is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 3 watt ok and the RPM is 2000 RPM okay and the friction between the disc and clutch surface mu is equal to 0 0.25 is given and bore radius given that is the inner radius R2 is given as 25 mm okay assume the uniform contact pressure okay uniform pressure intensity p is 1 mpa 1 mpa that is 1 newton per square millimeters okay and the question is what is the value of outside radius of the friction lining that is r1 so this is the question we are to find out this r1 well from the load given and this data rpm given we can uh, calculate the torque associated or torque developed in the clutch w is equal to 2 pi n t by 60 since n is in rpm so that is revolution per minute so we are taking revolution per second so by 60 so from here this t is the torque transmitted by the clutch we can calculate so t will be w into 60 divided by 2 pi into n so that is 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 60 divided by 2 pi into 2000 right so which will give 23.87 Newton meter okay so that is 23.87 into 10 to the power 3 Newton millimeters so now we know the expression for this torque okay from the configuration is two-third mu into P into pi whole into r1 cube minus r2 cube okay this is the expression 40 so that is so from these two we can write down two third into 0 0.25 into p we are taking one one in newton per square millimeters into pi into r1 cube minus r2 cube R2 is 25 mm so we are taking in mm cube is equal to 23.87 into 10 to the power 3 right so which implies R1 cube is equal to 61213.34 so which implies R1 is equal to 39.41 
ओके सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आउटर रेडियस ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन लाइनर्स ओके सो दिस विल कम इन एम एम क्लियरली इट्स मैचिंग विद ऑप्शन ए थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इफ यू आर एन्जॉइंग प्लीज टू शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट